The year is 2084. If they told me what the world would become... The year is oh. 2084. <laughs> if they told me what the world would become, I would not have believed them. First, there was the nanophage, the disease of transition. A digital plague that swept across the land, killing thousands upon thousands of augmented souls. A heavy cost for meddling with our minds and bodies. Then came the war, the big one. The great decimation. The West killed the East. The East killed the West. There were no winners. Except for Cairo. The corporation seized power and forged the Fifth Polish Republic. A crooked empire of blood and ash. There was no one left to oppose them. But still, they endured, and so it goes. The rich get richer as the poor rot away in their hovels, desperately looking for ways to escape reality. I am what they fear, a corporate tool of oppression, a despised leech that creeps into your dreams and feeds of your fears. If you don't remember, you won't remember. That's when they call me. To access you. To gather evidence. To dredge up whatever's hiding in the darkest corners of your mind. My name is Daniel Lozelski. I'm an observer. All right, well, hello everyone. Thank you very much for watching. So, huh. Adjust the slider until the logo on the left is visible. Oh. Okay, uh, that was weird. So this game is made by the Bloober team. I'm going to turn it up because my computers, is, my monitors are always dark. Um, the Bloober, um, the same. So this game is Observer. It's a uh, cyberpunk kind of 1984-esque game that's made by the same people who made Layers of Fear. And I only saw a little bit of uh, someone play the demo a while back and it looked interesting. So I'm looking forward to playing this game. And I guess we will go on from there. Let's take a look at the setting. Okay, I just was, I was going to turn on a subtitles. It looks like they're already on, though. Oh, you could change the language. What languages do they have? Oh. For the standard U, um, North American release, Spanish, French, but then you also got Portuguese. Hmm, I never really thought about South America gamers. I have heard that Brazilians do like games, um... I, I, I don't know if they're, like, the same compatibility with the U.S., though. Like, you can play U.S. game. Like, we have the same region. I don't know. That's what I mean. <laughs> I don't know if we're the same region. Alright. It looks like there's collectibles. I'm not going to worry about that. I've adjusted my audio system, so hopefully you can hear me just fine. Uh, I tested it earlier, and I heard myself fine, and my computer isn't turned all the way up, so. Hopefully it's, it's still good for you. Cow. Wazarski, you there? Hmm. Come in, Lazarski. Lazarski, you there? Yeah, I'm here. You okay there? I've been hailing you for the past five minutes. I'm fine. I must have dozed off. No rest for the wicked. How's the dream eater treating you? Well, I'm not a vegetable yet. Could have fooled me. 
Hardy heart. I'm serious, Dan. Your signal's all over the place. Have you taken your meds? Not in a while. Do it now. I need you in good shape. Okay. Daniel Lazarski. Citizen ID, Citizen Class B. Born October 19th, 2038. So 20 years. 21 years from now. Gender A1, what? Okay, well, we have demolished the binary. Alright, we'll take the pill. Yes. Oh, it's a digital pill. Okay. There you go. Looking better already. Yeah. Wouldn't want me to mess up. Can you see the headlines? Another leech goes berserk. Don't be like that. It's just... Yeah, yeah. What's this about? Just checking in, or you need me downtown? Nah, just a checkup. No one left for you to interrogate. Sounds pretty bad. Yep, not pretty. The explosion leveled half a block. The place is still on fire. Corporate goons all over the place, securing the area. Covering your tracks, you mean? What? Careful what you say. This is a monitor channel. Who is this? How'd you get this frequency? Don't you recognize me? Adam? Yes. Well, what's left of me? Dad. What happened? Where, where have you been all this time? Away from you? It's funny. Thought it would be easier. To hear your voice after all these years. But... It really isn't. Come on, Adam. Don't start. I really thought I could pull it off. You know? We're so close to making a difference, to setting us all free. And now it's... can't be for nothing. Doesn't matter. Tell me where you are, I'll come and get you. Shit. Dad. For once in your life, just listen to me. Whatever happens, I need you to remember. You're not in control. Adam. Can you hear me? You still there? Adam. God damn it. Dad? Dad. Matriarch, display caller ID. Displaying now. Krabinski. That's no. Matriarch, locate source of last call. Triangulating coordinates. Come on. Location established. Tenement building. Class C district. Jesus. Adam, the stacks. You just had to hit bottom, huh? So it seems like there's Rock some fucking bottom. choice involved. I wonder how that will affect replays. So far so good. It kind of looked, a, some of the, the techies looked a little dated, despite it being in the future. Pretty interested to see how this will go.
This definitely seems more ambitious. Layers of Fear was a, a PT clone, and I, I don't want to say clone. It was very much PT inspired, but this seems far more ambitious than that. Not as confining. They were able to be a bit more creative, have creative freedom. Case log updated. How do I access that? Uh, Okay, look, uh, case number four or five, finding Adam. My son contacted me after all these years. I don't know what happened, but it sounded like he was in trouble. I tracked his call to a run-down tenement building. Okay. I'm just trying to learn the controls here. Oh, you. Uh, hello? Need to get out. Easy there, Tin Man. I'm not looking for trouble. Oh. Tenant? Huh? Um, sort of. Name? Grabinski. Leon. Grabinski. Tenant. Uh -huh. oh. Apartment 7. Uh. Uh. Ground floor. Through the courtyard. Turn right, turn left. Straight ahead, turn right. Yeah, I got it. Backwards and forwards. Thanks. Mm. Door open. Hold on. Okay, so triangle to pull it up. The janitor gave me the number of Adam's apartment heading there now. Alright. This is interesting. Can't enter. Erato. Impeccable sound recording quality, even under the harshest conditions. So there's ads in an apartment building? The Polymath 31A. The state-of-the-art holographic display offers virtual reality-grade immersion. The mighty processor will handle even the most complex calculations. The kinetic interface allows for maximum comfort and efficiency. Looks like one of those, like, kind of like cheap VR goggles that you just put your smartphone on. So I want to take a look at these. It's interesting. So this is, I think this is all in Polish. Overworked. Don't lose your head. The new Pollux personal computer is both powerful and user-friendly. Catch your breath, spend some time with your family, let your electronic counterpart share the load. Yeah, it's like very dated looking. That's a very old looking computer, but I mean the keyboard at least, it looks like it uses some sort of hollow screen though. It's kind of interesting. Join us now. Hard work and patience is all it takes to achieve a civic status upgrade. Yeah, it seemed like it's uh, based off your class. And class C is pretty low. Now, our character is class B, which is a step up. Okay, there's the second floor. Third floor. He said ground floor. So that's where we are. Tattoo shop. Interesting. So apartment 7. What's that big one down there? Macron 6 tattoo gun. Laser precision, stellar performance, out of this world quality, down to earth price. Hold R2. Oh, R stick. I, I'm using the left. It's weird. Remain in your apartments and enjoy your chosen holographic content. Thank you for your cooperation. 
Chiron. What the? Just kind of looking around. Is that like to prevent theft? Or even though it's a dumpster? Okay, it looks like we can't go to the tattoo shop. It's just unusual. That's a statue. It's been vandalized. Another ad for the tattoo gun. Okay. It's just a bizarre looking world. What is that? Apartment 8. What the? Apartment 7. What the hell? The apartment's been trashed. Clear signs of a struggle. Need to proceed carefully. God knows what I'll find in here. They're here. They come, Bryce. Help me. You need to. Oh. Okay. Blood. It's controlling and not me. This is Lazarski 656210, setting up a crime scene. Okay, press R1 to activate electromagnetic vision. Let's look at the case log. Found a headless corpse in Adam's apartment. Need to identify the victim. A distress call came through his communicator. Better check it out. Okay. R1. I need to check the victim's compass for connection. Um, is that it? Six million volts wasn't enough. There's some structural damage detected. H and gotta start somewhere. Armies three, three, five, four, five. Consumer grade communication device illegal modification detected heavy encryption. Up there. Victim is equipped with an ID mixer. Identification not possible. Damn it. Okay. Nothing in the system other than that it's illegal software. Alright, L1 for. Huh, what's that? The killer was in a frenzy. The head was removed. 
removed post-mortem. It's possible the killer took it. Motive. Unclear. Severed cervical spine, severed carotid artery. There. Like there is some stuff here. Collateral damage or evidence disposal. Get used to this. 1984. Hmm. Printed on real paper. Oh. A little archaic for you, Adam. Just wanted to see if there's any. What are those Game Boy cartridges or something? Here. A processor. Sorry, just still, it's just trying to adjust to this. Sadly, you can't really move. Oh. Oh. It's a closet. Motherboard. Just trying to see if there's anything else glowing that I should pay attention to. Doesn't seem to be the case. Although I would kind of wish it would stop waving about. It does look like there's quite a bit of a struggle here, though. I went with the blood here. Not yet. Wait, what was that? Urine? Controlled substance 45F, better known as feed. You'd never touch this, Gwen. So maybe it's not Adam. So it was like Adam removed from the system? Kind of like in the Christmas special of uh, Black Mirror? Where like you can be blocked or if you're a sex offender you'll be blocked from the public? But they'll know what you did because you're glowing red. It's just interesting. Oh, what's in the freezer? Hmm, nothing. Alright. Let's see what's in here. 
bathroom. It's a needle sorts. Oh, it's a pill. Synchrozine. Powerful augmentation stabilizer. Strict dosage control advised. Synchrozine collected. Oh, 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 it's a collectible. Nanophage and eye. Anything else? Wait, maybe the... I think I know what the code is. Oh my god. Downtown Inferno, tragic accident or insurgent attack? They know. Listen, I know you're a busy man and all, but we gotta talk. Now. I think they're on to me. For real this time. I'm almost certain someone followed me home yesterday, and today I saw this weird guy outside my window, just standing there. If you can't guarantee my safety, then I'm out. I've got enough problems as it is. H.N. As far as out little mule As far as our little mule goes, don't worry. I can manage her. She's not like us. She knows she's in over her head and it clearly terrifies her. You can't expect too much from a simple mind. For now, just focus on your work and leave the human relations aspect of our project to me. For the time being, calm ma calm down and maintain focus. Eyes on the prize. J. PS. Glad you like the piece. I think it captures the essence of what we're trying to accomplish. A tragic accident or insurgent attack. Emergency services are still on the scene after an immense explosion tore a hole in what was once a serene business area of downtown Krakow. The blast is now thought to have originated at a Chiron Incorporated Research and Development Center. Although a joint search effort has been launched by the KPD and corporate personnel, the rescue teams scouring the site are yet to find any survivors among the rebel. The exact number of casualties is yet to be calculated, but according to our sources, no high-ranking Chiron official was injured in the tragic event. As to what caused the explosion, early reports suggested a reactor malfunction, but a corporate executive who wishes to remain anonymous had his own ideas on the subject. We are not excluding anything at this point, but this has terrorists written all over it. It is precisely the sort of cruel and cowardly tactics the anti-Republican insurgents excel at. We'll have an official statement on the matter shortly. If the insurgents were indeed behind this vicious attack, their goals remain a mystery. The center conducted civilian research, focusing primarily on developing new and improved neural links and other consumer products. It seems that whatever third party was involved, their sole purpose was to wreak havoc and destruction, striking fear into the hearts of the public at large. When asked to comment, Police Inspector Robert Pecula gave a prompt and stern reply. Chiron executives have provided their full support in dealing with the situation. He then retreated to his squad car, clearly distraught by the events of the day. We will bring you more on this story as it develops. Corrupted. 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 Home security. I've deactivated the apartment security system, leaving the crime scene. Hmm. Collected. Synchro 
seem collected. Sorry, what is this? Still true. Still trying to understand all of this. So I think we're done here. This just doesn't feel right. You're still alive. I know it. What the? Oh, that's loud. Found it. Might be a good idea to interrogate the local tenants. They might give me some clues as to what happened to Adam. I need to find the woman who tried to contact the victim. She might still be in the building. Her compass ID was HN. What is going on? Alright, I'm moving on. I can't... with this anymore. Oh, it was so loud. I'm sorry, guys. Over. God, that was annoying. <sighs> Hi, this is Tom. And Irene. <laughs> we hope you're having a positively peachy day. Oh, we sure do. Sadly, we're not in right now. <laughs> but you can leave your message after the beep, and we'll get back to you as soon as we're home. Yay! Oh, I mean, beep! <laughs> Ugh. Fine. Holocom panel. There's some modifications he did to it. What? What do you want? Got a minute, sir. KPD. Oh, God! They're here! The cleaners are here! I really don't want anything to do with that. Answering. Hey, PD, I need to talk to you. You broke it. No, you broke it. Nuh uh. Will you get these kids to shut up? I'm fucking talking here. Yeah, what's this about? Do you know the tenant in apartment seven? Dad, Tommy's picking on me. Shut up, snitch. I thought I told you to shut up. Seven, huh? Nah, can't say that I know the guy. Okay, so it's a guy. Yeah, well, seen him once or twice. I might have a vague recollection. Could you give me a vague description? Maybe. What's it to you? My son might have been staying in that apartment. I'm trying to find him. Well, why don't you tell me what he looks like? I'll let you know if it rings a bell. We lost touch. It's been a while. Huh. Sign of the times, I guess. See, 
I'm a family man myself. You shut up. No, you shut up. No, you. I swear it. If you don't shut up this instant. Uh, yeah, I can tell. So can you describe him or what? Young, probably in his 20s. Medium height, medium built. He wasn't very memorable. Is everything all right in there? What? Oh, yeah. You know how kids are these days. Do I? Yeah, you gotta be strict with them, or they'll just walk all over you. Usually, I just sit them down in front of the projectors, keeps them nice and quiet. But the thing just went and died on them. Cheap American crap. <laughs> Have you seen anything suspicious around the building? Any strangers skulking around? Nah, I don't pay much attention to the other tenants. Bunch of losers. A lot of... You're so dumb. Not as dumb as you are. Nuh-uh, you're way dumber. Shut the fuck up! Not upstanding citizens like you. You bet your ass. Good thing we'll be getting out of this dump soon. Is that right? Yep, I've been working my way up. I even filed for a status upgrade. Once that goes through, we'll be moving to a B-class district in no time. Yeah, good luck with that. Mm, so it does seem like it's a class-based kind of society. There's no one answering that. Run down. No one. Triangle to hack. How would you do that? Zero, four, four, six. Huh? I saw you close the door. What the? Is that a cleaner? What? Uh, Matus Trazik? Mail. Ready for disposal. 22. Date of birth. February 31st? What? what? I just took it with me. RC device. Erratic wave frequency unable to trace source. Door unlocked. I'll go there in a moment. Come to the door, please. Just want to talk. Who are you? Did Chiron send you? I'm with the KPD, if that's what you're asking. Seriously? We haven't had a cop around these parts and... Never, I guess. 
Well, you've got one now. Yeah, good luck. You're gonna fucking need it. Okay. No one. Sorry, before I go into that one apartment, I just wanted to check the ones, um, like, six and up. What? A lot of ads. KPD, I need to ask you some questions. Do you know what's going on? My hollow projection got cut off. Uh, I can't get a signal. The building is under lockdown. No external connection. Not much we can do. Shit. Sounds serious. So, uh, you wanted to ask me something? Do you know who lives in apartment seven? Seven? I didn't even know anyone lived there. Uh, hey, you wouldn't happen to know when they're gonna fix the connection. Not that it's, like, super important to me or anything. I just need to know. You just take it easy. I'm sure someone is already working on it. Oh, good. It's just that it feels weird to just sit here, alone, with my thoughts. You know, can you talk to me some more? It makes it kind of easier. Well, what do you want to talk about? Oh, um, uh, yeah, you know, uh, Gorski the Giant was fighting Killer Cromer today. You an AMA fan? Uh, not really. Sounds like you are. Of course I don't know who won since my projector went out. <sighs> Why are my hands shaking? You been living here long? Oh, well, I, uh, uh it must have been at least seven or eight years. Ever had a lockdown before? Um, I don't think so. I don't remember my projector going off. Ever. Sorry, I don't have time for this. Oh, okay. Uh, I understand. It's no problem. I'll just sit here, alone. God, I'm really starting to sweat like a pig. <laughs> Hang in there. Hmm, wonder what his deal is. Hey, you there. Come here, quick. What is it? What's up with the lockdown? Is it the phage? Was there an outbreak? Too early to tell. I'm looking into it right now. Looking into it? Are you out of your mind? We might all be infected. You don't know that. Best thing we can do is stay calm and... And let them come and slaughter us? I won't let them take me. I won't. Okay, no one's home. Just a restroom. So it seems like nanophage is some sort of virus. It looks like it causes a lot of rot, though. KPD, I need to talk to you. Get away from me, man. I got a piece on me, and I ain't afraid to use it. No, you don't. Now, calm down. I'm just looking for some answers. Oh, I know how you get your answers. I got nothing to tell you. Okay. Case log updated. Okay, so I guess I finished... Um... Inter interrogating the neighbors. But that's not finished. I should probably head back. Oh, 
Oh, there's something. There's something kind of activating. Aha! What are you? Weird. Oh, what? Chiron Incorporated. High level clearance. Looks genuine, but it's expired. Adam Lazarski. So he was here. the motherboard oh what's this you never cared about this stuff the hidden data storage the encryption is too complex for my hacking tool I'm taking it with me might be able to decode it later Okay, so we got the data storage unit. Are we done here? We are. All right, let me go into that one apartment. Apartment 16, I think. No, apartment 17, hold on. Yeah, okay, let's see. Hello? Fuck. Remove your implant. Yes. Sinkers <sighs> injected. Strain level decreased. With fire and sword, spiders. Voices from below. Don't believe their lies. The plague is still out there. Fellow undesirables, if you're up to date with Chiron propaganda, you probably heard our so-called Minister of Health spout out another gem of corporate wisdom. For those of you who didn't, let me tell you let me catch you up to speed. To all those who have given in to insurgent fear mongering, I say again, there is absolutely no need for concern. The nanophage is no longer a threat. We have contained the glitch and thus freed ourselves from the disease. Loyal citizens who support responsible augmentation have nothing to be afraid of. Three words. Bull fucking shit. Let me tell you how things really are. Unless you're one of the lucky class A fucks with a shiny set of mods, in which case you're probably not reading this, the nanophage is still very real. We've had at least three confirmed cases in the past year, one of which led to a small-scale outbreak. Luckily, we managed to contain it before it spread beyond control. Now, you might think three cases ain't nothing to get excited about. If so, I can tell you've never been in an outbreak. For most of us cooped up in Class C districts, even a single instance is one too many. Okay, so what the hell are you supposed to do? First and foremost, it's better to prevent that cure. It's better to prevent than cure. Give the given the phage recovery rate, these words should be considered gospel. Once the plague hits, it's usually too late. So, if you want to stay safe, look for these symptoms. One, fever. 
Pay attention to even the slightest bumps in body temperature. The phage starts off slow, barely more noticeable than the flu. So if you're feeling a bit under the weather, get your ass to a local clinic and run a scan. Better safe than sorry. Two, implant irregularities. This is where it gets tricky. Assuming that, like most of us, you can't afford to run regular mod maintenance, you've probably gotten used to the odd jolt of your neural implant or a slight spasm in your artificial arm. However, if these start to occur at an increased rate, you need to check yourself. 3. Erratic behavior. Every once in a while, try to look away from the projector and take a gander at your neighbors. If any of them are acting weirder than usual, babbling to themselves, walking crooked, there might be something afoot, assuming they're not drunk or high. A bit of civic awareness won't kill you. A lack of it might. 4. Juncture and flammination. Okay, so the skin is at the base of your implant, turns red, and starts to itch. The bad news is, you might be infected. The good news is, it's not a death sentence. Our clinics have performed numerous extraction surgeries, and unlike the corporate cleaners, most of our patients tend to leave the operating room alive. As long as there are no nanite punctures, it's still not too late. If there are, you're most likely too busy hallucinating and puking blood to notice. If you spot any of these symptoms in yourself or anyone in your neighborhood, contact one of our clinics. If you don't know how to find us, ask around. We got eyes and ears all over C District, so chances are we'll find you. Now, here's what you definitely don't want to do. One, don't panic. Chances are it's still not the phage. We've had dozens of false reports on alleged outbreaks that turned out to be a nasty case of pigeon flu or an old implant gone haywire. Two, don't be an idiot. In the last couple of months, we've had dozens of incidents of violence aimed at suspected carriers. Guess what? It doesn't solve anything. Once the disease takes root, we're all in this together. Three, do not report it. I can't stress this enough. The cleaners are not your friends. They're not coming to help you. Best case scenario, they'll lock down the entire building and go through it with a fine tooth comb, using the outbreak as an excuse to confiscate subversive materials and detain any undesirables. Worst case scenario, the ones they don't slaughter outright will end up as guinea pigs for Chiron R&D. If it comes to that, do yourself a favor and pack it in. Jump out a window, blow your brains out, doesn't matter how, just make it last. You won't thank me later, but you'll regret it otherwise. Undelivered mail notification. The following message could not be delivered to one or more recipients. Content blocked by Chironet Firewall. Diagnostic ID 9314780. Original message. My dear Annie, by the time you read this, I will no longer be live among the living. The details are not important. Just know that I went out on my own terms. I won't ask for a proper burial. God knows you won't don't owe me anything, and by the time the cleaners are done with the place, I doubt there will be anything left of me to bury. Just know that, for all my faults, I have always loved you, just like I loved your mother. When the disease took her, a part of me died that day. Simple displays of affection became a foreign concept, a painful reminder of what I had lost. It does not justify what I've put you through, but it is the truth. I am so happy you've managed to get out of this hellhole and found, find someone worthy of your love. I wish you both all the best. Love, Dad. No documents with fire and sword. Oh, uh, I, I don't want to deal with that right now. Hmm. Sorry, I... Hmm. I thought I saw something kind of glow over here. Oh, this. Archer Vitek? Occupation Unicorn. Age of Death 29. Alright, well, it doesn't seem to be much else here, just a 
think he must have thought he had the phage and killed himself. Okay, well, let's move on then. Hmm. Janitor left the door open. I'll take that. Synchrosine collected. System update recommended. Nanophage and I. Hmm, seems to be something under the floorboards. Let's see what's here. The wall stands tall. Our brave boys and girls continue to defend us from the eastern hordes. A shot rings out in the dark. Michael, the young soldier next to me, immediately turns towards the wall. The intensity of his gaze sends chills down my spine. Without a second thought, he runs up to the wall, an imposing colossus of concrete and steel. He mounts it in a single leap, using his state-of-the-art leg augmentations, a little gift bestowed upon our troops by the Chiron R&D department. The scout aims his rifle into the inky blackness. His cybernetic eyes scour the horizon for any signs of the enemy. Stern and resolute, his comrades hold their breath, waiting for him to say the word. What will it be this time? A soul scavenger? Or a full-on assault from one of the numerous raiding parties that scour this unholy land? When he finally speaks, I cannot help but shudder from the sheer intensity of what is transpiring. All quiet. All quiet on the eastern front. At least for now. Guarding the wall can be a daunting task, Michael confesses the following morning, but it's also a privilege. The other soldiers gathered in the cantina nod their heads in approval. Michael introduces me to his squad members, some of which are on their second or third tour of duty. Several firm handshakes later, the soldiers regale me with stories of their service, each one more breathtaking than the last. When I ask what drives them to such acts of heroism, Michael lowers his head and responds in a slightly embarrassed tone of voice. I don't think anyone here considers themselves a hero. I know I don't. The way we look at it, we are all part of something much greater than ourselves. Something that began with our fathers fighting in the big one. Ah yes, the big one. Such an unassuming name for the greatest conflict of our times, one we all know as the Great Decimation. A name given not to belittle, but to simplify. A desperate attempt to make sense of this unprecedented tragedy, during which many of our nation's finest gave all there was to give in defense of our way of life, nay, our very existence, from the barbaric hordes of the East. And yet, out of this cauldron of conflict, this baptism of fire, we have emerged victorious. And while the old world was engulfed in flame, in its ashes we have built our great republic. To all the heroes that gave their lives and health in the great decimation, we salute you. While the soldiers' dedication is undeniable, their service is made much more bearable due to the contributions from the Board of Defense and Chiron's top scientists. Michael is quick to agree. If it wasn't for the corporate government, some of us would not have made it this long. Take these babies, for example, he says while affectionately patting his glistening leg prosthetics. Without them, I would be a cripple, wasting away in some hospice, unable to serve my fellow citizens. Thanks to Chiron, I can fulfill my role in our great society. Spoken like a true patriot. And let us not forget that Chiron takes care of our brave men and women on and off the field of battle. Our ongoing veteran rehabilitation initiative ensures that soldiers who are no longer able to serve can reintegrate into society so they can lead rich and fulfilling lives once their glory days are behind them. Request denial. Dear Mr. Joukowsky, while we all greatly appreciate your exemplary service and service sacrifices you have made for your country, the VRI policy enforces a strictly proactive stance in helping our brave veterans reintegrate with society. Regular coverage requires a deed of permanent B-class employment, presented to our representative on an annual basis. Your current janitorial position simply does not qualify. Given these circumstances, we must sadly deny your claim and are therefore forced to terminate your participation in the program, effective immediately. 
As of today, the Veteran Pension Fund will no longer cover periodic maintenance of your cybernetic prosthetics. We wish you all the best. The Veteran Rehabilitation Initiative. This is an automated message. Please do not reply. All right, this has gone this has gone long enough. Veteran or not, I don't give a crap anymore. One more message and I'll find you and beat the fucking junk out of you. My mother can no longer take this shit. She's sick of telling you over and over that her husband, my father, died 18 years ago. She's moved on. We all have. No one wants to live in the past to constantly relive a tragedy. So for the last time, Mike Jaroski is dead. He's been dead for a long time. Have someone type that into that busted ass head of yours. I don't care how you do it. Just fucking remember this time, even if it's a toss up between this and remembering when to take a dump. Because the next message you send her will earn you a broken fucking jaw. Consider this your final warning. So the, the janitor, I guess, is a veteran and Mike Jaworski was someone he fought with, but he can't remember dying. Ground floor. It was HN? Of course. Two HNs. Helena Novak at Corporal 104 and Hannah Nader at Corporal 106. Both on the same floor. There's a couple of living quarters, but it looks like it's mostly storage space down there. He plays that game too. Fucking hell! You again? Not a good idea to sneak up on me, you know. I to get out. Okay, okay. I took a wrong turn. Yeah. I must have taken a wrong turn. These hallways all look the same. Hallway. Public. Office. Authorized personnel only. Okay. Police business. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> I know what you are. Oh, yeah? Back during war. Took one alive. Sent for one. Now for you. To get into his head. You fought in the big one. Is that why you got all this junk in you? Plasma sweep. Hit our convoy. <clears throat> Barreled through armor. Sorry, I didn't mean to bring back memories. Yes. Memories. Something triggered the lockdown. Mm. Trying to get it open. Rudy and I. You think it might be the nanophage? You had any recent outbreaks? No. Last one. Long time ago, down by the river, all the, the implants, bad, the implants. Okay, see, I just realized it seems like a good deal of his, uh, the right half of his body is completely fake. Or cybernetic, to be more precise. Who's Rudy? I take it, Rudy is the robot. Multifunction service and maintenance drone. Don't lose it. What? Hmm? Mm, wonders of sometimes. I uh, need to track manually. Hmm. Can we lift the lockdown from the inside somehow? Or get a message out? No. Keep people in. Isolate, accommodate, alleviate. Yeah, we all know how that last one used to work. What can you tell me about the tenant in apartment seven? Mm -hmm. mm. 
Dannand. Yeah, Tennant. How long has he been living there? Yeah. Maybe longer. Not good with time. You ever talked to him? Didn't get out much. None of them do. All right, Tin Man. Let me know if it comes back to you. All right. I'm heading out. Can you give me full access to the building? Uh, uh -huh. uh, assistance. Unstable. Unlocked. What I could. Thanks. You better stay here. There might be some very nasty people out there. Nasty? Hmm. Look, just stay safe. You know what? I never got your name. I'm Dan. Huh? Name? Janus. Like a... Roman god. <laughs> you know. Sorry I gave you a hard time earlier. Good to meet you. Janus. Okay. Startled me there. <laughs> but all right. Well, I think this is a good place to stop. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time with more Observer.